this is um, the main head to the tune of Marijuana by Reverend Horton Heat. Um, this starts out down here in an E minor chord. You know, it just starts out playing the um, fifth string and the fourth string while holding that E minor chord. So we have a B note and an E note. Then we play those two notes again, followed by an open D. So, so far we have B, E, B, E, D. And then we're going to do B, A, B on the fifth string. Okay, after that we're going to go to an A octave. So that's the fifth string open. And then the octave at the second fret of the third string. Okay, and then we're sort of outlining a B7 chord. Um, so we're going to be playing the first fret on the D string, and then the second fret on the G string. Okay, and then we're here. So we're just kind of kind of outlining that B7 a little more so we have So those notes from the beginning of that B7 section are D sharp A G D sharp B E so if we look at everything we have so far. Okay, then we're back to this A octave. And then sometimes he does this diminished chord, it's like E flat or A diminished. Sometimes he doesn't. I think the first time through the head he doesn't play that, but the um, the next time he does. Okay, then we outline that B7 thing again with the open G. Okay, and then we're just arpeggiating E minor. So that's... Um, just the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings. We do those three strings twice. Six, five, four, six, five, four. And then third string, second string, first string. Okay, so that's that's the first section. Then we're going up to this um, high part, which starts out in sort of like a B7, or actually B flat um, seven. So that's just barring at the uh, sixth fret. We'll play that a few times on the first and second string, sixth fret. Then we add the dominant seventh, which in this case is going to be the ninth fret, um, A flat note. Okay, and then we're up here. And that, what that is, is that's just um, notes of an A triad. So that's 10th fret on the 2nd string and the 9th fret. And then we're alternating between that 9th and 12th fret on the 1st string. Then we take that up, a half step. Okay, so that's a B flat. Try it, okay, and then we're up here on this A. That's an A7. Okay, and then we're gonna take that up, so we're gonna be at a B flat seven. Okay, then we're on this sort of D shape, which is the D and F sharp on the um, 14th fret and 15th fret of the 1st and 2nd string. So, so far we have this. <laughs> so 
So it does that three times. Okay, and then we're barring at the 14th fret on the bottom two strings. So let's look at that whole section again. Okay, then we're down here, we're gonna be um, playing B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, B, C, D, B, C, D, B. back to that first part. So um, let's let's back it up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take you through that second half um, with a little more depth and hopefully clarity. So we're starting out here again. Oh, I'm sorry. So again, that's sort of based off of this B flat, and then we're adding that dominant seventh. You know, like if you played a B flat seven like this, that's the dominant seventh right there. So we're just alternating between this um, these two sixth fret notes and that dominant seventh. Okay, and then we're up here at nine and ten. And we're just alternating between um, the nine and ten and the um, twelve and ten on the first string. So that first string note is changing. We're holding these two notes the entire time. So we're just basically adding and subtracting our pinky on that first string. Okay, then we take that up a half step. Same thing, same exact notes, just one fret higher. Okay, now this next part, again, like I was saying before, this is sort of an A7 type of pattern. So we have 12 on the first string, 14 on the second string, and this time we're alternating between the 12 and 15 of the first string. Okay, and then, like before, we're gonna move up a half step, one fret. And we're gonna do those notes, and then we're gonna move that 13 up to a 14. And that gives us like, notes from like a D chord, the D and F sharp. So watch the whole thing slow. Okay, so after that, again, we're gonna go B, C, A, and I'm just doing um, the three notes on the, the bottom three strings. In fact, you could, you could play it as a, like a full bar chord, but if you do it that way, just aim for the, the bottom few strings with your pick. And then it's, it goes down the first two times, B, C, A, B, C, A, and then it goes up after that, B, C, D, B, C, D, B, C, D, 
And then the last time or two, you can hear him add his thumb in there. Or in other words, you could, you could do it like this too, where you're strumming the bass strings in addition to the high, the high strings. I'm not gonna go through the solo. There's, um, there's like a lot going on there. It would take a whole series to get through all that. So um, yeah, good luck on that part. I just wanted to go through the head, the main melody of the tune. Um, that was kind of a pain for me to figure out at first, all those, those weird little chord inversions. So hopefully this will save somebody out there a big headache and uh, make their day better. And if not, I tried. Anyway, Harvey Monsteller signing off. See you next time.